what's up instagram panda here we out shooting early in the morning and i want you guys to see firsthand oh what these images look like so i have my veltrox light so i can see the buttons uh, i don't know let me see that hold on let me put this light down that's my bag over there and from what it looked like before see guys check this out look at that look at that epic shot this bus stop has a very interesting look and the cloud cover so i'm gonna get a couple of snapshots of this and i'm gonna layer them and stack them so, yeah, I want you guys to see firsthand. But let me show you guys. Sorry, I'm on my mobile phone. There's a setup out in the street. And just to, just like you know, when motorists are coming from that direction, they can see that red LED light blinking. So, but that's important. And I also got one. Oops. I also got one on my arm. But look at that epic shot. Wow, I'm gonna capture it. But that's what I want. I want that shot. Oh, I think I'm gonna capture this one too. Hold on. And three. So I'm using a shutter remote released for this shot and uh yeah i still have that pixu 283 uh tw 283 yeah this little this 30 dollar remote lasts what almost four years now <laughs> why is everyone spending i, I get why you want to spend this you want to support the companies that you respect you want to use the gear but if you knew, or if you know, firsthand, oh, and it's clearing up a little bit. Perfect. Oh, this is pen this morning. <laughs> Look at that epic shot. Oh, I wish the moon was a little bit right in the frame, though. Be nice. I'm using the 15th, because I'm using the polarizer, too. I'm using the Ibex polarizer SR for this shot. And you guys are like, wait, you're using a polarizer at night? Yes, I use a polarizer to eliminate some unwanted highlights. Like you can see here. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's like phew, stunning. Let's take another shot. See, I like that leading line with the lights coming right in, into the foreground. You see that? That is spectacular. Hey, Mr. Walker, you see the leaning lines from the light coming coming off the bus stop, leaning into the foreground. And then in the background, you see the sky. Oh, beautiful shot right there. So I want to take a couple more of these shots. And what I did for the last day, I scouted locations first. I didn't just didn't want to go out and bring my gear in, which I did, which that was a big mistake. The first time, <laughs> But, you know, I wanted to capture something. And here's another shot. I'm going to capture it again. I'm doing a 30 second exposure at F13. But I might increase that to F16. So, yeah, we out here in about early in the morning. Look at that beautiful moon. It stopped raining finally. And the reason why I wanted to rain is because I wanted to emphasize a pattern of that leading line of that light coming off that bus stop and as i said before guys i got the light and i got the led light when motorists or joggers or passing by they can see me and i'm not actually across the line the bike lane line over there you guys cannot see that but take it with take it with the grain of salt <laughs> this is the iphone now you can see the line 
I'm behind that white line. <laughs> and this is busy. It's rendering. Hold on, guys. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. See what. And I'm going to stack these. Let's see that. Oh, wow. Yeah. You see that? Not just a little bit of highlight uh, uh, overexposed. Like I said, guys, that is the Ibex Polarizer SR. Really good polarizer. Holy crap. Really fantastic. I'm glad that I actually made the purchase. Wow, look at that. I'm going to take another shot. See, now I'm one stop under. I'm going to wait a little bit. See, what I want to do is also wait for a lot of traffic to come by that street to give it more color in the back. I don't necessarily have to take this shot too because it's clear sky now. There's nothing after this. So this be the last shot. So Panda is taking you guys on a first class tour of landscape. <laughs> This is how, this is how Panda does it. And dude, this city, this town is so peaceful. Holy, like clean, quiet. There's a homeless people out here, but they're not bothering anybody. They're just trying to find the next meal. Just like me. <laughs> I shouldn't even be outside right now because I pulled my shoulder muscle yesterday, which is in terrible shape right now. So what I did was I loaded my, I, I, I lighted my load. I left some stuff at the hotel room. I don't like leaving stuff in the hotel room because I don't trust these shady hotels. So what I did was lock everything up. And you gotta, you gotta literally jack that shit off everything that's good. Sorry for my language, but I literally wrapped everything else around. Oh, look at that shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we good. Oh yeah, I think we good. But anyway, I wrapped everything around in my hotel room so it'd be very difficult to actually remove it from the hotel room. You guys know I've seen my setup before when I transport this stuff, but anyway, I want to emphasize I'm using the Manfrotto 502AH fluid head as my everyday driver for even video and portraits as or landscapes as you can see. Using the sun Sunway Photo L bracket, which is the DP007. Nylon Z Claw Quick Release. The newer adapted uh, rail adapter and a newer uh, Nora rail. And I'm using Art Slice or Leo Photo Carbon Fiber Tripod, which is very light indeed and very good. With that said, thank you for watching everyone and uh, I see you guys in the next video. Take care.